Okay, well, it's pulling time. Raiden Shogun is out. She is the next support we are going to be trying to get. And yes, obviously, because I'm making this video, Raiden is a support. Without further ado, it's time to get into pulling. We have a pretty stacked banner here for this account. All three of the four stars are supports. Chevris is a recent addition to the list, and I don't have her. Don't know if I have the other two, actually. I don't think I have Sarah. I'm pretty sure I have Toma. Okay, well, I don't have any of them. So this is this is going to be a good pulling session no matter what happens because hopefully we can get one of each. We are currently sitting at 49 pity. So this isn't going to get us very far, but hopefully we get a little bit lucky. We are also on a 50-50, which makes things not fun. Now we get a Toma off the bat. That's good. He... I don't know who he's going to be useful for, but he's going to be useful for someone. For some team at some point. And we get the bell. Now we're into single pulls. We only have two of these, so... My hopes aren't very high, but... Yep, that went about how I was expected. Oh, we have two standard pulls. Hold up. Four star. Uh, Farazan Constellation. Kirara, con I'll, I'll take Kirara Constellations. She is usable. Looks like we're going to be doing what I thought we'd have to do, and that is some farming. That is C5 Kirara. Also, that is Toma. Now we can level up. We'll deal with Toma later. I will need to build him so he gets on par with all the other characters. But we'll get around to that later. So I reckon I'm going to do what I said I was going to do in last support only videos. And that is questing because I need more primos for Raiden and more pulls and everything. I am going to be going and doing this, which is Natlan quests, I'm pretty sure. And it'll also give us, obviously, the pulls from completing it, the 500 primos, because that thing is still happening, I think. Yes. So it'll give us 500 primos and all of the little primos from completing it and exploration and everything. Another thing we can also do is Spiral Abyss. It has reset, and I managed to 36 star on my main account for the first time ever, which means there's a pretty good chance I could 36 star on this account. So I might have a look at doing that at some point, or I've already done it because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this video out in time because it needs to come out today. So I could just do Abyss on this account now. And then that'll give me more primos and a video I could get out today. Which sounds like a good idea. I like the sound of that. So I might do that. In which case, I would have already done the Abyss by the time you see this video. But we still have all the other stuff. So Natlan and all of that stuff. Which I will still do. Just not right now. Because I need this video to come out today. And I can't be spending a couple hours on quests. But uh, yeah. So I am going to go do some stuff. And hopefully you have some more pulls by the time I come back. And we can get riding. Okay, I have done a bit of farming. I thought I only had one tenable, but apparently I have almost two, which is awesome. So we hopefully should be able to get Raiden. Now, also the Genshin livestream did happen. We have Shalonen coming out next update, so I definitely want to pull for her because she is going to be a pretty good exploration character. I don't know how good she's going to be for the actual buffing of teams damage or stuff, but I know she looks cool, so I know we'll pull for her anyway. And then we obviously have Nahida coming out second half, but we have Nahida, so I'm not going to pull for her. So let me uh, just quickly quick, quickly do something. Just going to take Cookie off the team. Thank you very much. Now there is a slot there for Raiden. So let's go. 72 pity. Let's, there was some lag. Let's bring home. Okay, not yet. Well, let's try to bring home Raiden Shogun then relatively soon. Kujo Sara. She is new. That is good. I can use her. Plus, she'll also buff Raiden Shogun. So, I will take that. Which means... This should be Raiden Shogun or a 5 star. That's 63. I mean, 73. 74. There's our 5 star. Win the 50-50. Raiden Shogun. There we go. Perfect. Oh, Yes. We were like three 50-50s in a row or something now. We're doing so well with the 50-50 winning streak. Oh, hell yeah. I'm so happy. Now, I know someone is going to argue that Raiden Shogun isn't a support, but I've gone over this way too many times already. She is a support, and 
that sort of counted plus we already have her now so there's no going back she's the support but now we also have Kujo Sara which is very nice so I'm gonna level actually we're not gonna yes actually we'll get her up to level 20 and she can be used for buffing Raiden and stuff I don't really know we'll just get her leveled up she can do something and we can she there's another character we can use basically I won't go any further because I want to save some of the stuff to actually work on Raiden, not Kujo Sara. Because, obviously, we have Raiden Shogun, who is such a cool character. I haven't got her on any of my other accounts, and I kind of wanted Raiden Shogun. So I'm so happy we have her. Because she is a very cool character, and she can do some pretty decent damage. And when, I, and when I say pretty decent, I mean, like, quite good damage. She, could, she can hit pretty hard. She's a really good battery, basically, as well as applying the off-field electro. And also having some burst damage increase and resistance interruption stuff. Overall, she should do some good stuff. So let's hopefully get her to actually do said good stuff. I'm going to focus on mainly just her burst and skill. And we'll just leave her normal attack at level 2. So I don't need the lowest grade drops. Now, I don't know exactly what team I'm going to use her on. I'll most likely use her as a cookie replacement or on the national team. We'll see. Whatever the case is, she's just going to do a bunch of really good stuff. Now, I don't really have good weapons for her. I probably should go farm for the catch. But for the time being, we do just want energy recharge. So, Favonius Lance will work. Now, we do need some more stuff for her. We need more of the boss drops. And I'm going to need those drops for Sara as well, I think. And then we're going to go do the Natland story quest because I need to get that done. But I'll just get her up to level 70 now and then we can deal with getting her maxed out. That also takes off two more support characters off my list of supports. Which means we only have a couple five stars left now. We only have four five stars we need. Yeah, and then one support, which is Chevrus. Who is currently on the banner. So, you know what, let's actually do a couple single pulls and see. Please be a Chevrus. Chevrus. That's not Chevrus. Okay, we will have to wait for a Chevrus. We have three standard pools. Hold up, we could get a Chevrus here. Or, I mean, we could get a five-star weapon. Or a Gene C1. Or a bunch of blue. Okay, we'll deal with that later, but I probably will spend the pools we get today and try to get Chevrus. Because she's the last four-star that we need. And then we're only missing four more five-stars, and we've got every support in the game. Well, it'll be five more five stars when Shalonen releases, but now we just need to actually build everyone. Which I've changed my mind on what I'm doing with that. I said in the video where I level 80 all of the supports I have, I said I was going to do another video where I went and got everyone's talents up to six, I think. But I'm changing my mind on that. I'm going to do it basically as I build the character. I will farm everything for them and try to get their talents up to more like seven or eight as I build each individual character rather than just getting everyone's talents up to six. And then having to go through and build all the characters. If I just focus on actually building all the characters. Then I can farm more stuff consistently. Anyway. Raiden Shogun can now go up to 70. And we are going to need to do quite a bit more farming to get her any further. Because we need now 12 of these and yeah all that stuff. And her talents up to 6. Which we will be able to do. We just need a couple more of the middle grade drops. Oh yes, before I forget, we hit AR 49, I think. Well, no, 59. We hit AR 59, which means we're only one level away from AR 60. And we do have the ascension thing, which I probably should do. But we'll deal with it later. But yeah, now we're at, we're at AR 59. So now that we have Raiden Shogun, let's go do the Natlan Archon quest. Hey, look, we get a Kachina constellation. That is so incredibly useful. Nahida looks really intrigued with this conversation right now. She had the, the full head tilt and everything. She was really, in, really invested in the conversation. They changed the dialogue if you've already been to the Statue of the Seven before. Actually, that does make sense because it would make no sense if we tried to get our pyro abilities twice. That's going to be one of the hardest places to balance. Just standing on top of the head of a dinosaur while it's walking along. There's no way the Traveler is just chilling there right now. That looks like it'd be so hard to keep your balance. 
I got Kinnich a couple days ago. He's awesome on my main account. A how is already annoying me. Speaking of Kinnich, I did one pull on his weapon banner on my main account, and I got his signature weapon. I was at like 30 pity, so yeah, that's something, I guess. I did not mean to get it, but we got free pulls, so I did those free pulls, and I got his weapon. So now we have Kinnich and his signature weapon on my main account. Oh no, I just realized we're going to have some uh, well, difficult parts of this quest coming up because they force us into a Kinnich, not Kinnich, Kachina and Mulani trial. And then a Kachina trial. That's going to be fun. Okay, now we get pain because we can't use these two characters. So let's hope we can do this without having to attack anyone. And then we'll be sweet. No, I got, I got it. Die. Oh, I, I found the strategy. We just group everyone up. Yeah, all come here. And then we just step on that and then run. Oh, that worked. However, there's only... We, we've ran out of them. That didn't quite work. Well, let's just see what happens if we die. We are dead. Did that do anything? By the looks of things, no, that did do anything. Yep, did nothing. Great. Uh, other th option. Do we have a gadget that can do damage? No, we do not. Well, it doesn't look like there's too much I can do. I can try it again, and hopefully those uh, landmine things have reset. And maybe we can use them and make sure the, the enemies are closer and does more damage or something. Yeah, I'm not liking our chances right now. Landmines are back. Good. Everyone, come here. Everyone. All of you. Every single person, come right here. If there was one more, we'd be able to do it, I think. We just need we needed one more of these little bombs. And we would we probably would have been able to do it. Yeah, because we are just short on damage. We needed one more, really? Uh, it looks like there's no other way to get past this. I don't want to use Kachina because she's not a support. But it appears like there is no other way to get around this. I think we this is the only way to do it. And I kind of need to progress through the story. So, yeah, we're going to have to, unfortunately, fight these guys. Although, I'm going to try to do as little fighting as I can. So, if I can cheat my way around it, I cheat my way around it. Because, obviously, I can't use those characters, so... And this one's going to be even worse because there isn't any bombs or anything around here. So, yeah. I've done some research. I've looked around a bunch. I don't think there's any other way to do this. I'm going to let you deal with them. I'm just going to chill over here. Someone's going to die eventually. Let's go find a good viewing spot for this. I'm just going to run up a wall. And uh, watch those guys battle it out down there. You guys uh, have fun, I guess. I'm just going to be here. Okay, so he's killed the big guys, it looks. Which, uh... Hmm, that leaves a problem. Come here. Does this fire burn you? Come here. This way. Yes. Uh, no, that fire does not burn him. As I somewhat predicted, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to fight this. And this is one of those times, both this entire section here and when we end up having to use Kachina. It's one of the parts that I have said when we started this count. There's going to be times where they force us into characters where there's no other way for us to do damage. There's nothing else we can do. And the only way to progress is to use the characters. And it, this is one of those times. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to use these guys for this bit of the quest. And obviously when Kachina fights, I don't think there's any other way around that. Which is a real shame, but yeah. Oh wait, more people fighting amongst themselves. We're sitting here and watching them. You guys have fun there. I'm going to chill over here so I can not fight as many people or anyone if possible. Although seeing how that went before, I doubt that's going to be the case. However, we just, we, we wait things out and we hope that they all sort themselves out and we don't need to fight anyone. Yeah, no, it looks like we're going to have to fight these guys as well. We got rid of one of them, which is good, but yeah, everyone else is respawning and they're not just sort of dealing with it themselves. So we're going to have to fight these guys as well. This is really not going how I wanted it to go, like, at all. Well, now we have what I think is going to be another time where we have to use Kachina for a fight. 
I'm going to try to get around this. Maybe if we die, then... I don't know, the storyline changes or something. Yeah, that's going to happen. Maybe it works. Otherwise, yeah, we're probably going to have to use Kachina, which I don't want to use, but yeah. Hey, so at Genshin, for future reference... Please stop. Uh, please let us use our own characters, or have the option to use our own characters, so that we don't need to do this. Because I don't really care about this story, because I've already done it. Or better yet, just let us skip the entire story, including the fights. Okay, there goes Kachina. Did that do anything? By the looks of things, no. Yep, nothing. Sick. Well, looks like we've got to use Kachina again. Oh, well, there's the first of, I think, two or three fights where we're going to have to use Kachina. And with that, we no longer need to fight with any characters that we can't use. I'm really hoping they don't force us into any more characters in any future quests, but they inevitably will. Hopefully by then they release a gadget that can do damage. Also, is it just me, but Haimon's outfit there looks like she is Anya from Spy Family. Got a standard pull off something. Wait a minute, what? Okay. Uh, okay, that. I'm kind of speechless since I wasn't expecting that. I just opened up my wish menu to see if I got any of these so I could hopefully get a Chevrus. Come on, let's get a Chevrus here. Homer. I mean, he's usable, but I would have rathered a Chevrus. Um, well, that's uh, interesting. I don't even know where we got that pool from. I think from Raiden. Um, well, now we have a C1 gene. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll take it. That was, I was, bleh, English. I was not expecting that. Excuse me, we were only at, there was 15 pity. Well, I was saying before we recorded this, I would have liked a Raiden and a C1 gene. I mean, in the same 10 pool, so it's guaranteed for Shilonen, but, uh, I mean, we still got a ride in the C1 gene. I'll take it. 15 pity. That's good. We can use her. Damn, okay. That's... Now she's got a build gene. Because she's not built. Well, that's uh, pretty lucky. 50-50 win with Raiden Shogun. And an early pity. Very early pity. And usable character off the standard banner. And there we go. Act 1 is completed. That took us about an hour 20. I can't imagine how many safety violations this place would have if there was such thing in this game. I mean, there's literally a big gap in the fence here to a very, very big drop. That's got to be some sort of safety hazard. Now, actually, while we're running past this crafting bench, let me grab a couple more of these. So that we can get Raiden Shogun's talents up to 6. Which is going to be the max for the time being because she needs to get to the next level. We also do have a decent amount of Signora's drops which is nice. So I will need a couple more but that should be enough to get us to like at least I'm going to say level 8 I think. Also we're now 2 hours into this questing. And I think we're about halfway through the second act. We just have the Night Kingdom thing, and then there's a little bit with Mavwika right at the end. Don't put, a, don't force us into Mulani. Don't do it. You did it. Yippee! Why couldn't we use our own characters? My goodness. For the third time this video, we are unfortunately going to have to use someone that is not a support. Now Mulani goes Super Saiyan. Hey, I wonder what happened if we do it like in it. What happens? Oh, okay. You fail to escape. <laughs> Good job. Oh, it just resets us? Oh, that's a shame. I thought it'd be a completely different story. But no. Also, I didn't think it would immediately just teleport us away. I thought it would just start taking damage. And there we go. Act 2 is completed. Grab that. Thank you very much. Basically, 2 hours 40. Grab 500 primos. And let's finish today off with a Chevrus. Okay, apparently not. Okay, we will not finish today off with a Chevrus. 
However, I think we only need like one more pull. So I might just do that one more pull when I can. And if we get a Chevrus, you'll know about it in the next video. But with that, we are done. We have finished off the entire Natlan Arkham quest. So we are fully caught up with the story at the moment, except for we haven't done Wanderer's little quest, but I probably won't do that because I've said before, it requires us to do a lot more stuff that I don't really feel like doing. We obviously have the Raiden Shogun here, which I'm stoked about. That's like our, how many 50-50s in a row is that? It might be only one, but I feel like it's at least one or two 50-50s. We've won in a row. We won three 50-50s in a row. Damn, okay, this account's got some pretty decent luck on it. And actually, it has very nice luck because we also somehow got a C1 gene at 15 pity on the standard banner. So, uh, hell yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. So, I'll do another video somewhat soon. I do need to get a few other quest videos and stuff out. But relatively soon, I'll get another video out. And we will build the Raiden Shogun, get her up to level 90. Get her talents hopefully up to 8 or 9. We'll see. Obviously, she's going to need a better build. And I'm going to start fishing so I can hopefully get the catch at a somewhat decent level of refinements. I'll try to go R5, but that's going to require a lot of fishing. So we shall see. I need to go do all this again. Plus Fontaine's Arkham Quest on Fontaine only. Which I'll do that tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Considering this took us almost 3 hours. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be almost 10 hours of quests I'm going to do in one day tomorrow, which should be interesting. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.